can I help you with? Remember our last conversation when you told me the artifacts made your mind and body feel out of sync? Well, it got me thinking. So I dove into our archives and started looking through Constellation's older journal entries. Just because I wasn't familiar with the experience you described doesn't mean the same might have been true for my predecessor. Really? I'm surprised that I haven't. After reading those journals, all of the pleasant memories of my time spent with Aja just started flooding back. Ah, she absolutely was. Aja was the one that taught me the ropes at Constellation and took me under her wing as her protege. that you mention it, you're probably right. Either way, we logged quite a few interesting discoveries together. Honestly, it wasn't so much what Aja and I discovered in our travels. It was the journey that was memorable. Exactly. For me, it was all about the quieter moments. There was nothing quite like sitting back and watching space bend while listening to Aja spin vivid stories to fill the time. Oh, I find that sort of cozy isolation the best way to really get to know someone. At this point, I'd say you've graduated from protege and moved up the ladder. A bit. You know, all this talk about Aja reminds me that my time with her was a gift. I miss her dearly. I respected her, and I considered her a dear friend, but we weren't in love. Had that been true, I would have resigned my post and moved to Parima 2 instead of remaining at Constellation. Come to think of it, if we're ever out that far, perhaps we could pay her a visit, and I could make proper introductions. Don't expect you to be a carbon copy of Aja. Just be yourself. You see, it's clear that we share the same hunger to discover what's out there. And that, well, that's what intrigues me about you. Then we're both on the same page. Anyway, 
That's all I had to discuss for now, so if you'd point the way, we can continue our journey. you might have gotten reassigned. You've been gone so long. So how's it feel to be a citizen? It should. You risked life and limb to earn it. Though I have had my own personal struggles with the United Colonies. I'm happy for you. I really am. <laughs> Congratulations. But it is real good to have you here again. We've been going through the Terramorph data, and, well, we're gonna need all the help we can get. These logs, they're even more thorough than I remembered. Genetic workups, population statistics, hell, even their food chain. I'd completely forgotten, for example, that there was a creature that actually ate Terramorphs. <laughs> At this point, the data's given us more options to explore than we have people to work on them. That'd be something, wouldn't it? I'm sorry, are you? You're serious. You found our research team? That's incredible. That accelerates everything. With them back, it'll let us... Wait, Kaiser. Did you find Kaiser? That's right. You would need that. Whoever gave you these leads sure knew their stuff. Oh, how? How exactly did you manage to find them? That's not funny. Seriously, how'd you find them? No. That's... that's insane. He died. They executed him. They... They faked his death? My entire unit, they threw us all to the wolves, but kept him? And now he's what? An advisor? Commanding the fleet in secret? What was so important that they had to keep him alive? Well, they certainly picked an expert, didn't they? He's alive. Vavictus is still alive. I don't care if they're using him to solve world hunger. The man is a criminal. How could the UC do something so foolish? I guess it makes sense though, doesn't it? The UC of that era only created me because they were afraid of a world without Vae Victus in command. Why would they get rid of him? 
As long as I live, I'll never understand the loyalty that old bastard elicited. You've got nothing to apologize for. Because the UC, they did a lot of terrible things for that man. But even knowing they did, knowing that they kept him alive all this time, you know what I feel right now? It's hope. I had no one when I was outside the UC. No red devils, no family. But that old world, where I was no one and my father mattered, that's gone. Thanks to what you and I have done, I have a place again. A purpose. But it's finally one I can be proud of. You and I, we're getting to change what the UC stands for. So I don't care if Avictus is alive or dead. He can rot for all I care. We're the ones who are making the settled systems and the UC better. I refuse to let that man define my entire life. Not anymore. Because there's nothing we can do about past choices. What we can do is try and make the right ones now. So, let's get back to the business at hand. Now, my father just handing over the information on the research team and Kaiser out of the clear blue, I can't say I trust it. But if he has something to gain from helping us prevent Terramorph attacks, I'm not seeing it. So while you'll absolutely want to be cautious, what would you think about trying to bring back Kaiser? There's something on the horizon, that's for sure. We just need to not let that distract us from the work at hand. And that starts with Kaiser. If he's been out there for a while, well, you're gonna need some things. Somewhere. Uh-huh. Here. Kaiser schematics. Actuators, weapons, batteries. That old robot's been MIA for a while, so chances are he's gonna need some repairs. He's also got a lock on his voice controls. You can give yourself authorization with the phrase Nos Belli Machinis. Now, where exactly is the old machine? A battlefield? On Nera? Ugh, oh, sheesh. No wonder no one's found him. That sector of Nera was destination number one for Xeno weapons during the war. Add to that general environmental devastation and the kind of lawlessness that comes with any Freestar world, and that planet's got more than enough ways to make a visit your last. But I think there's a place where you can start your search. Hmm. Yep. One of a kind salvage. Licensed to an Angelo Alonso. Goes by Gel. As good a place to start as any. Kaiser lets us do field work with a level of precision that there's really no other way to accomplish. More than a few of the options we're looking into, detectors to uncover the Terramorph transmission method, or crafting a targeted biological agent, they require highly specific materials to test against. And asking a group of Marines to accompany us for that kind of work, well, it usually ended up with ruined samples and... 
wounded teammates. The colony war saw a lot of hard fighting, but Nera got it the worst. Everything the Freestar Collective and UC could muster, ground troops, Xena weapons, mechs, was hurled into the fray. Both sides hoped something would decisively turn the tide, but it never did. When the war finally ended, swaths of that world were so devastated they were effectively abandoned. So what Kaiser's doing there of all places, I can only guess at. Mm-hmm. Military Model A. Customized them myself for when the Xeno Weapons team needed to make field runs. Part combat bot, part lab facility. Getting him back from wherever he may be will make our outside work a whole hell of a lot easier. And I'll make sure we're ready to put him to use as soon as you've got him. Humankind laying waste to a planet in the name of war. The ecosystem here has been totally destroyed. New model on the floor. Welcome to the one of a kind. Refuge and rest home for the hardest scrappers anywhere. Name's Jill, proprietor. Not here to make your fortune out in the fields then, huh? Suit yourself, but there's no bot named Kaiser around. Oh, unless you mean Captain Ahab? At least that's what we've all been calling him. No clue what his actual designation is, since he's got some sort of security protocol that prevents inquiries and general chit chat. But he's a combat bot, right? Yeah, that machine's been out there a while now. 
hunting this one siren, his white whale. But it's been a while since anyone's laid eyes on Captain Ahab, though. Maybe he finally got the thing. Or it got him. That's where I recognize that insignia. Red Devils. Yeah, Ahab's definitely your bot. So, sounds like you've got two options. You can wander around out there, hunting your bot, little old white whale of your very own. Maybe you find him. Maybe you get yourself killed. But knowing this rock is part of what we do here, so if you want to find him a whole lot faster, I'll sell you what I know about this. Kaiser's location. Going rate's a little steep, but I'm willing to negotiate. I'm listening. Yeah, I hope so. Not sure that's the best way to... In my ex... Look. Pleasure doing business. So, one of my roughnecks said he heard some kind of beacon. Just keep your ears open. You should find your machine. Eyes open, too. Sirens and ecliptic out there. And neither takes prisoners. Oh. And corpse retrieval is not included in this transaction, so now you know. Give Ahab a Kaiser our best. state of this ship. It's as though it's been picked apart from the inside out.
You hear screaming out there? In need of materials? Or just here to have a drink and enjoy? Ah, so that's where your machine's been. Ran out of juice. Heat leeches, wasn't it? Those little stowaways are everywhere on this rock. Suck the power out of a pen light if you let them. But a micro cell. That's military grade tech. I think we might have one, but I can promise you it's not going to be cheap. You could probably Frankenstein one together using our fabrication system here, but only if you had some quality schematics. So I just brace for a little sticker shock. Nasty kind of alien left behind after the colony war. Pretty much blind. Original ones brought to Nera were all Xeno weapons. But those critters have long since passed. But they left behind more than enough untrained babies to keep the fields plenty interesting. Lights are on. Anyone home? Wouldn't have lasted real long here, doing what we do without a top-notch fabrication system. So long as you've got the specs, it should be able to handle making you a microcell. But finding materials up to the task, you're likely going to be sifting through quite a few mech hulks out there to find what you need. Though, if you think you can actually manage something like that, I'm willing to make you a deal. I'll point you towards the juiciest harvest sites. Spots where you should be able to find quality parts. But in return, any excess materials you collect, you sell to me, all right? Save us from risking our necks on another run out there. What do you say? Then let me just mark those collection points. Watch yourself out there. Don't forget, whatever else you find in those spots, all legal, I swear.
resume my mission. Please step aside. Major Sanon, we'll have to wait. I cannot leave my mission. Although, previous attempts to disarm the weapon have been unsuccessful. Additional support may allow me to complete my active mission more quickly, allowing me to leave this place. Request denied. My current mission requires completion. Will you provide support? Excellent. We must disarm Unit XW-99. Designation, Siren. Nearer's final Xeno weapon. Are you ready to proceed to the mission site? Follow me. getting desperate if they've resorted to searching piles of scrap for mech parts.
is on the other side of that reach, but it appears to be under the control of hostile forces. Sensors suggest Ecliptic, a mercenary company like Ecliptic, would only want Unit 99 to utilize it as a weapon. This means Unit 99 must be disarmed immediately. Standard procedure would be a frontal assault on the outpost. No quarter given. Do you concur? I'm in total agreement. A frontal assault sounds like it's in order. Moving out. Service is now complete, Unit 99. Mine, however, continues. Our work here is finished. Now, what is this mission you spoke of? Major Sanon is involved. A plague of terramorph attacks. That is disconcerting. You are docked at one of a kind. I will meet you there.
can't believe it. Major Sanon, Dr. Walker. You're in better shape than I expected, Kaiser. Shouldn't take as long to get you back up to full fighting capacity. This is good to hear. I was told there was a new threat on the horizon. I wish to learn more. Percival will give you the full story. Plus, get you dressed for the occasion. Occasion? Where are we going? Londinian. Londinian. Doctor, I will require additional armaments. That's the plan. Come on. Captain, you're with me. Time to walk you through what we came up with. So the problem we're up against is vast. Terramorphs, they can be anywhere. Meaning us finding and disposing of them ourselves isn't an option. But what if we could let something else do the work for us? Howdy. Come on, I'll walk you through what we're thinking. You remember that creature we talked about before you went to Nira? The thing that eats Terramorphs, the Asilis? Apparently, they were bloodhounds for Terramorphs. But when the UC ran low on synthetic foods during the Colony War, the Asilis were chosen to fill in the gaps. We thought they were harvested to extinction. But in the data, the research team found the location of a few remaining specimens. As you can see, what we're proposing is bringing them back. We'd breed populations of them, distribute them to human worlds, and then let nature take its course, using a method that thousands of years of adaptation have already perfected. We could speed up their breeding process using, well, using some of the same technologies that were used to create me. We even think that with some time and investigation, we could use the Asili's hunting skills to track down the Terramorph transmission method at long last. Find out how humanity spread them and put an end to the Terramorph problem definitively. I really think it could. Now, there is another option for removing the Terramorphs from our worlds. It's faster, maybe even more efficient, but riskier. A microbe. Something we could aerosolize, let spread, and have it clean up anything with Terramorph DNA for us, which would include morphs, and we expect, their transmission method. It'd still take time to build, test, and distribute, but no other method could hold a candle to it when it comes to sheer efficiency. Not even the Asilis. Well, so that's tricky. Both plans are going to take major investments in time and resources. We're talking years of work, and not to mention some highly specialized materials. Terramorph cell lines we can breed quickly and consistently to test on. Asili's gene samples we can use to rebuild their bloodlines, or sharpen our microbes' tracking skills. Not the sort of things any labs just got lying around. But we think we found a lead. One place in the known galaxy where we know we should be able to find all the materials we need. All paths lead to Londinian. It's dangerous, yes, but Kaiser, Percival, and I, we've trained for this. And you're not so green yourself. And the last thing I want right now is for the UC to stick us with some gung-ho jarhead who's gonna put us and the mission at risk. Captain, you're the reason we're all here right now. You're the person I think can help us finish it. Will you join us on this? Exactly what I was hoping to hear. Now, the UC has a small operating base on Londinian's outskirts. 
We're cleared for access, but we'll need to check in with the base commander, Sarah Hatoum, when we touch down. I'm gonna help Percival and Kaiser prep, but once that's done, we'll rendezvous with you there. But you need to know, Londinian? It belongs to the Terramorphs. They'll have anti-Xeno gear for us at the base, but I'd make sure you've got your favorite arms on hand. <laughs>